Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Claire and I put out videos about luxury bags and accessories. So if that's your thing, please click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll know when I upload a new video. I haven't filmed a video for a while so this is my first one for a little while. I may have uploaded some but they were filmed last year. Um, this is the first one I'm actually filming in 2023 so happy new year to everybody. I know it's February but um, I've been so busy in December and January. They're my busiest months of the year work-wise so I just haven't had a chance to film a video. But I've got time today um, because I've just had a delivery and as the title suggests I have a triple Mulberry unboxing to do and um, again as the title suggests one of the items is going back but two of the items I haven't even actually opened and properly unboxed yet so um, hopefully if they're okay when I look at them with you on the video today then they will be keepers. Um, now the preface of this video is you, those of you who have been with me for a while may remember a few months back I purchased a Saint Laurent uptown wok in the sort of raffia with the kind of beige tones with a slightly darker um, border and I'll pop a picture of it up here and um, I'll pop the video down below that uh, where I unbox that particular wok. Um, I liked it in terms of the colour, the um, material, I love the raffia, but unfortunately the, the design of it was such that it was too narrow at the bottom for me to comfortably fit what I wanted to put in it and also the chain length was too short for me crossbody. It just sat too high on my body and was uncomfortable. So sadly that particular item had to go back and I said on the video that I was very likely to return it and I did tell you I think in the next video that I had in fact returned it and I asked on the video for in the comments if anybody had any any ideas of what I could look at instead because I really wanted a sort of a beige neutral coloured wallet on chain type bag for use mainly in the summer months because I use my black wallet on chain all the time but I just wanted a, another colour option and thank you to everyone who commented I got some good ideas um, one of the things that some people said was a pre-loved Chanel wok because obviously I do love my black wok so much much so maybe I should do that and look for a pre-loved one. I have been looking but they're still very expensive. I certainly don't want to get a brand new Chanel wok in a neutral colour because I think I'd be too worried about colour transfer and I'd baby it too much and I don't really want the wok for that purpose. I want to be able to just grab and go in the summer months and uh, with a neutral coloured wok. So but even the pre-loved ones are very very expensive and I've not quite found quite what I wanted. So um, I started looking at other brands. Some people said to me check out other Saint Laurent um, wallet on chains which I have done but again some of them I do think I've got the same issue with the chain length in that um, it's not quite the right length for me they are a bit shorter so I did look at Mulberry and that's led me to this Mulberry unboxing today um, again somebody I do believe suggested Mulberry and they mentioned a bag I had already seen and I thought yes let's take a, another look at that one so this is the first bag I'm going to show you um, now this I have unboxed because this I received a couple of days ago and full disclosure this is the one that's going to go back so I will show you it and then I'll explain why it's going to go back however this came from John Lewis um, John Lewis do stock Mulberry and normally if I buy Mulberry online I buy directly from them but John Lewis sent me a reward voucher in January which was 10% off my next order and given the cost of these 10% was quite a, a nice amount of money to get off um, this is a new season bag it wasn't in the mulberry sale that they've just had in January so it was full price so to get the 10% off was a, a useful saving however so it is going back that's the only thing but anyway so I ordered it from John Lewis very good service as usual from them um, received it within two days of ordering so let's show you the bag because I've waffled on for a little bit and I'm going to waffle on again after I've shown you it and this is the small Dali in silky calf and it's in the maple colour. So this is pretty much the sort of neutral kind of colour I wanted. It's got quite bright gold hardware, um, very much a sort of a wallet on chain style shape, but it is slightly bigger than a wallet on chain. You'll see it's slightly wider. Now it has the traditional Mulberry Postman's lock, which you just twist and open. Obviously it's a flap bag. Inside you have a front pocket, you have a zip pocket, and then the main 
compartment with some card slots at the back. Very similar setup to the Chanel wallet on chain. And then on the back, you have a usable black back pocket. You wouldn't be able to fit your phone in it, but you'd certainly be able to get some things in it. Um, again, a Chanel wallet on chain has got that very tiny Mona Lisa pocket. So this is actually a slightly more usable one. Why is it going back though? Because yes, it's a, it's a lovely bag. I really love the color and it is a very nice bag. You might think I'm very fussy here. However, one of the things that struck me when I took this out and concerned me straight away was the width. It is a bit wider than the Chanel wallet on chain, as I say. So if I grab my Chanel wallet on chain, you can see there's not a lot in it. But the thing is, without a wok saver, the Chanel wallet on chain sort of squishes up, whereas this one is very sturdy, very rigid. So there is no leeway on that width at all. That is the width. There's, there's no squishing that up. I would be able to live with that, that would be okay if it sat in the right place on, on me crossbody. but I've got the problem again whereby the chain is too short and yet again if I compare it with the Chanel wok you'll see that the Dali sits quite a lot higher than the Chanel wok and the trouble is as I've said before I carry my weight on my tummy, I've got a generous tummy and I don't like crossbody bags to sit bang in the middle of my tummy because it just A is uncomfortable and B draws attention to that area of my body and I don't want attention drawn to that area. The Chanel wallet on chain sits that little bit lower, it kind of goes down on my hip and it doesn't feel so uncomfortable, it feels really really comfortable sitting there and obviously when a bag does sit on my tummy the wider it is the more uncomfortable it feels because I feel it just sticks out and really draws attention to that area now you know many of you I'm sure don't have that problem or wouldn't worry about that but again for the sort of money we pay for these items that for me is a deal breaker I have to be able to wear it comfortably the idea was that I buy something like this for the summer I sling it on crossbody off I go running errands doing what I need to do and it needs to fit comfortably on my body and I need to be happy with it and as much as I thought this is such a beautiful bag I love the color I love the style it just was not comfortable when I put it on crossbody so I only received this a few days ago and I thought right sadly I'm going to have to try and think of something else. So I will be returning that. John Lewis have a 35 day return policy. I'm going to package it up after this video and get it returned. Now what have I done instead and why have I now got two other mulberries to unbox? Well a long long time ago before I purchased my Chanel wallet on chain I'd actually bought myself pre-loved a Mulberry Bayswater clutch. Now this is my Bayswater clutch in black. As you can see, it's very similar to the Chanel wallet on chain. It's actually a little bit narrower, but the leather is a lot softer and you actually got a little bit more give in it in terms of what you can put in. Now, I bought this pre-loved a number of years ago and um, I do use it, I still use it even though I've got the Chanel one because sometimes I just don't want to take the Chanel one out. There's certain circumstances I don't want to be walking around with a Chanel bag but I'd still like an elegant wallet on chain and I feel that this Bayswater clutch really fits the bill as well and I do use it a lot. In fact, I used it as a errand bag yesterday. You can see I've got some lippies and my card holder in it and it also fits my phone. So this was a bag that I thought was not available anymore. Then I saw on a Facebook group some people discussing um, this particular bag and how it was available at Bista Village. I then also saw in the Mulberry sale that they had a couple of these on their website on sale. And I thought that's really strange because I honestly thought it was discontinued. However, the ones on the Mulberry website were sold out. So the ones at Bista Village though seem to be available. Um, now I thought about taking a trip to Bicester but unfortunately work commitments I just haven't really got the time to go there so I tried their sort of messaging service. I, I phoned first of all and I got a message to say they're extremely busy can you message us on WhatsApp. So I messaged them on WhatsApp and I said I'm looking for a Bayswater clutch and I knew that they do it in a colour called Rosewater which is very similar to the colour maple that that Darley's in and they also do it in a beige linen as well which is a kind of a creamier colour. So I said I'd be really interested to know if they had um, that particular item in either of those colours. 
Now they did say um, you need to wait five to seven days. Um, don't message again, but within that time, hopefully we, we will reply. Um, I ended up waiting about four days, I think, and I got a message and they said, um, let's go and have a look. We'll have a look at the stock and see what we've got. They then sent me some photographs and I'll pop copy up here. And the beige linen one is the one on top and the rose water one is the one underneath. And they said, yeah, we've got both in stock. Which would you like? They also sent me a photo of some Bayswater clutches just hanging on the rails and I noticed they'd got one in oak as well and that was one I was interested in too but that had been out of stock on the website as well. So I said to them um, I'd like I'm interested in the oak one and I looked at the two colours and although the rose water is close to the colour of the Dali and I was very tempted by that I decided to opt for the beige linen because I really wanted a very sort of pale cream colour and that is slightly creamier than the the rose water which has got a slight pink tinge to it um, I still like both colors and I was really torn but I decided then to go for beige linen so I said yeah I would definitely like to buy the beige linen and the oak one please now the reason I said two is because they to buy those two um, they're in the sale currently at Bista and they're still cheaper than the small Dali on its own. So the two together are still cheaper than the Dali. So I felt that I could actually buy myself both of them and have even more options because I do love this clutch so much. Um, they then uh, left me hanging for quite a while. I just didn't get a reply at that point and I thought well I've said I want to buy it and then they'd kind of gone. So their customer service was was good when they were replying to me but then they did leave me kind of hanging for quite a while. So it was the next day and I kind of messaged again and I said, I would really like to buy these. Can I go ahead and do that? And then waited and waited. And then finally I got another message sort of saying, oh, you know, we're dealing with everyone in priority, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, OK, but I kind of was already dealing with somebody. I just want to, you know, finalise the transaction. So then they came back to me and they said, uh, no problem. Yeah, we've got the oak. And they said, we're out of stock of the beige linen one. And I said, um, oh, OK, I said, your person I was dealing with yesterday sent me a photograph of it. So I kind of assumed you had it in stock. And they came back and they said, oh, that was old photographs. They, they, that was old photographs and from a couple of weeks ago. And we have actually sold out of that one. But then what they said is, would you like to go on the wish list? for this particular one because we will be getting some more and I said yes I would and I said oh I said you're definitely going to be getting some more and then they said yes the Bayswater clutch is now a made for outlet piece and I thought ah oh, that explains it I didn't know that I haven't been to Bista Village for quite a while it's probably a good few years since I went to Bista Village and went into Mulberry and probably the last time I did go into Mulberry I was looking at other bags I didn't really have the Bayswater clutch in my mind so I didn't notice that they do it so where it's not on the website anymore as a standard Mulberry piece they do get more stock of it and they do have it in at the outlet now I know some of these places do have only made for outlet pieces which never ever go into the boutiques and go straight to the outlet. The Bayswater clutch used to be a mulberry item that was available on the mulberry website was a you know a, a mulberry piece but now they obviously still make it but they do send it straight to outlet. So for me I don't mind it's I don't feel that I'm getting any less of an item. I know the quality and the style of the Bayswater clutch is good and is for me so I was quite happy to say yes I'll buy the oak and I'll go on the um, wait list for the beige linen please. So we did the transaction for the oak they sent me a link I paid and then they sent me the tracking number and said it will be with you in a couple of days. Um, a few hours later they messaged me and said we've actually found a beige linen one in stock would you like it and I said yes and they said this was quite late in the evening and they said tomorrow my colleague will send you a link and you can pay for it um, tomorrow. So sure enough the next morning I received a link and I paid for the beige linen one as well. That was sent out and they have both arrived today at the same time and that's what I've got here to unbox for you. So that's the story. I've ended up with two kind of wallet on chain clutches now. Um, I'm hoping that both of these will be good. I can return them if there's any issues, but I think um, I can only return them for a credit note. 
so you know I'm hoping not to have to return them so here's one I haven't looked at them um, I've just loosened the tape because it was really tight um, and a lot of tape and oh so inside we have the mulberry box I don't know which one this is so we have a mulberry white bag and a ribbon at the top let's undo that and so here we go wrapped in some tissue and then in nice cute small little dust bag very cute ah this is the beige linen one. Oh wow gosh there we go so there's the beige linen oh that's and it's got stickers on the hardware and take the tissue out chain is all wrapped up you can see that there we go the chain is wrapped up and there's the inside it's a kind of a burgundy inside so the card slots are in the the linen beige linen leather and then the fabric inside is sort of a burgundy um, obviously I need to have a good look at it make sure it's all okay but the chain is there now in terms of the chain this is slightly longer than the um, Dali chain um, and that's again why I knew that this one this clutch would probably be okay for me if I take the Dali again and show you with my existing Bayswater clutch you can see there's not a lot in it but it's a couple of inches longer so it just again sits in a slightly more comfortable position on my body and with it being thinner it doesn't stick out of my body quite so much also, you can see the difference in the chain colour. The Dali is bright gold, whereas the Bayswater clutches are champagne gold. And being a silver hardware person, I really do prefer the, um, the champagne gold if a bag I'm buying has not got silver hardware. So yeah, so this is my beige linen one. Now, if you compare the colour, you will see... There is a bit of a difference. The beige linen one is definitely a, a lighter, creamier colour, and this is obviously slightly pinkier. Um, I do like this colour a lot. It's very nice, but I've, I think that this will go with a little bit more, will be a little bit more versatile for me, which is why I plumped for this one. So, yeah, so very happy with that one so far. So that's the um, beige linen one. It looks all okay. As I say, I will give it a good once over. At the end of the video so let's pop that one back in the dust bag and this is box number two so I haven't even seen a picture of this one other than it vaguely hanging on a, um, a rail in the boutique oh, right this one is packaged slightly differently we have again a nice mulberry bag um, but I've got a sticker at the top let's just undo that Okay, that sticker didn't want to come off without ripping half the bag with it, so I ended up having to cut it. So, let's get inside. Again, it's wrapped in tissue. Uh, this one's this one's actually wrapped in a plastic bag saying BW Clutch Classic Grain Oak. That's the, um, the leather of them. They are called a classic grain leather, um, and they're slightly pebbledy leather, which does make them quite durable as well. And again, it's a cute little dust bag. And, oh gosh, yes, this is lovely. It's a bit darker than I was expecting, but it is really nice. Mulberry do a beautiful oak leather, they really do. I have a few bags in this oak colour, and they are just gorgeous. So there we go, exactly the same again. The um, champagne gold hardware, I've got stickers on the hardware there. Let's take that open. Um, take the tissue out got a care card and yeah this is again all black interior on this one so have the oak one there we go now why did i get the two colors 
I just felt that in the summer, well, I'd probably wear this in the winter and the autumn as well, but I just felt in the summer months, sometimes I do wear clothes that will go with the creamier colour or the oak colour. I have some slides and sandals in this colour and a creamy colour. So I just felt I wanted a couple of options. For the price of these, they are a really good bag. I don't know if they're considered under the small leather goods section. Um, they're called a clutch. They're not called a bag as such so I think that's why Mulberry charge less for them they are currently in the sale um, so you know you can if you're interested in them you can check them out at Vista Village and I think the other outlet store as well which is in Cheshire Oaks but I don't know very much about that one um, you can visit or you can say get in touch by whatsapp and see what they have so I'm going to have a proper look at these now I'm going to return the Dali as much as I love the color like the style it is just not quite the, the bag for me. Oh, I did consider before when I looked at strap lengths, I did think to myself, oh, as I have a Bayswater clutch already, I could swap the strap out because on the Bayswater clutch and the Darley, the strap is removable because they have these little toggles. And I thought, okay, well, if the Darley strap is a bit too short, I could just swap it out for my Bayswater strap. The trouble is, as I realised when the Darley arrived, it is a much thicker chain, as I showed you the difference, and it is a different colour. So although this chain strap does fit in the holes for the Dali, they're a little bit bigger for the toggles, and it doesn't quite look right, if that makes sense. And I still wasn't happy with it. So again, that's why I sort of made the decision for the Dali to go. But yes, so far, first glance, first impression, I'm very pleased with these two. Um, I feel that I will get use and wear out of them um, during the coming months as sort of like grab and go bags just to carry the essentials. I also feel these are bags that work in the evening as well. I use my black Bayswater clutch um, in the evening so I know that these would work summer evenings as well, autumn, winter evenings too. So yeah, so very pleased. Kind of two for the price of one as it were. The price of these together was less than the price of the Dali, as I said. So, you know, for me, um, it's, you know, although it might seem excessive to buy two, I love the fact that I've got some options now and I haven't absolutely broken the bank in order to buy the two. Um, and, you know, so there we go. There is, a very, there is a possibility, give it a number of months and I might go back and buy the Rosewater one because the Rosewater one is, as I say, kind of more more this sort of pinky colour so I might decide I'd like the rose water one as well but at the moment I'm quite happy with the black and then my two new ones the beige linen and the oak so another bit of a story time waffly video I'm afraid but I kind of wanted to give all the background and the the idea behind why I bought two bags because it's not something I normally do I'm usually a little bit more restrained but um, yeah I, it's funny actually in the past with Mulberry I quite often have bought their bags in two different colours. I have got a few mulberries where I've got the same bag in two colours. Uh, it just seems to be a bit of a thing with mulberry for me. But obviously I've also done it in Saint Laurent because I've got their small Lulu in two colours as well. So, you know, with me, I'm a creature of habit. If I find a bag I really, really love, then I am quite likely to buy it again in a different colour. That's just how, how I am. So anyway, I, I do hope that... Um, I've made sense about my sort of purchasing decisions over these. Um, I'm very happy I've finally got my sort of summer walks, um, you know, small bags, grab and go for coming months. And um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these. I really look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.